Welcome back. Maybe you know someone diagnosed with brain cancer, a friend, maybe a family member, or maybe you just became aware of the disease after Senator John McCain's very public battle of an aggressive form of brain cancer called glioblastoma. His shocking announcement, surgery, and quick return to Capitol Hill for the health care vote have the nation following his treatment and wishing him well. It's also raised awareness of the disease. Our next guests are working to do that as well through the annual Brain Cancer Awareness 5K. It also helps raise money for research. And here to tell us more about the event, our brain cancer survivor himself, Sam Bastille, along with event board member Amy Jo McDade and expert in the field, UPMC neurosurgical oncologist, Dr. Nduka Amankulor. Did I say that right? Dr. Perfect. A for short, right? That's right. <laughs> so tell us more uh, about this walk and why it's so important to raise awareness about this disease. My grandmother was diagnosed four years ago, and at the time, my family and I really weren't aware of brain cancer, what it was, what it could be, and what the available treatments were, really until my grandma was diagnosed. So after she had a very short battle, which was actually really long for family to sure, watch, sure. Uh, we decided we wanted to do something to raise awareness for brain cancer because it, it really is an under talked about disease that we wanted to make sure that if people were put in the same position we were in that they knew more about it. And do you think that the effort so far is is working? You know we have grown from a 200 person event our first year to now we have almost 500 people registered for this Saturday's event. It is a place for people to come together and provide support we have brain cancer survivors, members of their family, friends, we come together. We also have some pretty professional runners that like to troll 5Ks on active, but for the most part, we're there to raise everybody's spirits and also to raise money to benefit brain cancer research at the University of Pittsburgh. That's fantastic. Sam, tell us about your battle with brain cancer. Yeah, sure. So this started for me about two years ago. I was um, leaving work and I had a seizure and I woke up at UPMC Mercy and I woke up and wasn't sure what I was doing there. Right. Uh, subsequently, the doctors found that I had a tumor, which Dr. Monkler uh, later did a great job and took it out and I'm grateful for what he, he's done. Um, they did a biopsy on that, on that tumor and they identified a grade stage three brain cancer. I'm um, going through 43 days of radiation and 13 rounds of chemo since then, wow. which have caused some peripheral loss on my, re my right eye side. Um, I lost some energy and strength, but I'm, I've gotten a lot of support from my family, my wife, Nicole, my kids, to, to help me get through this. I mean, did you ever think that this would happen in your life, you know? When I... Just... When I got the biopsy result from doc, Dr. Monkler, I, I, it was devastated. Yeah. You never think anything that's going to happen. How is that going to happen to to someone who's like me in their 30s? It doesn't seem fair, and that I, I dealt with that a lot. Having to, to say, why is this happening to me? It doesn't seem fair. But I, I'm trying to turn this into a helpful event, a good event to help help more research and awareness for brain cancer. Yeah, I imagine. I mean, healthy. You were healthy, 30 something year old. I was 36 at the time. Wow. Yes. Unbelievable. Dr. A, can you tell us a little bit more about the various brain cancers and, and are there any precursors for something like this? Yes, yeah, so most brain cancers um, have no precursors and uh, the, the, the brain cancer can be, uh, can be uh, divided into three main groups, uh, grade twos, grade threes, and grade fours. Now, Senator McCain um, has a grade four and th that's really the most aggressive uh, form of brain cancer and um, in spite of maximum treatment um, often uh, patients will only have uh, will only have 18 months to two years to live um, however they're they're less aggressive forms grade uh, grade two patients usually have about 10 years to live um, and the the grade three form uh, is somewhere in between however um, you know the, the most important thing is is how aggressive we can be with surgical resection um, and also being vigilant with subsequent uh, chemotherapy and radiation because we find that uh, we can have some uh, some successes um, and some long-term survivors and you know you have a, a, a testament to, to that in, in Sam. Uh, how is research going in this and, and the dollars raised from this 5k will go to research as you mentioned but how is research going in this field? Yeah, so research um, in the last 10 years has picked up significantly. Um, we, uh, my uh, research group focuses on 
uh, immunotherapy for brain cancers. Mm -hmm. uh, what we've discovered is that these tumors uh, essentially put the immune system to sleep. Um, and what we've done in, in my lab, uh, along with multiple other uh, laboratories at UPMC, is, to, is to, uh, to come up with strategies to wake up the immune system. Um, and so in the, last, in the last 10 years, there's certainly been a lot of progress, and we're now looking forward to bringing that to, to patients by coming up with, with strategies to, to wake up the immune system and to get exactly. our natural immune systems to fight the cancer. Interesting. Amy Jo, tell us more about the walk itself. Absolutely. So the, the 5K actually began my grandmother was being treated at home and I met up with co-founder Tom Rachel and his wife Barb who at the time was also a patient of Dr. Amon Kalor and they they had a simple ask they wanted to put together a 5k to raise awareness for brain cancer and monies to donate towards research and I was immediately hooked I had recently lost my grandmother mm -hmm. and I even tried to talk myself out of it because everybody knows Pittsburgh for bridges right. I'm like well if he's on the other side of the bridge it really doesn't make sense for me to help him out so when I sat down with him initially I, I the first words out of my mouth was where do you live and he turned turned out it was White Oak which was five minutes from where my grandmother lived wow. so it was like really kismet and we have been together ever since and we have come a long way since the first meeting we had which was in the White Oak Dairy Queen and now we've gone from 200 walkers and runners in $25,000 in our first year wow. to right now we have over 30,000 committed and almost 500 registered that's unbelievable it's amazing and when is it being held this coming Saturday and can people still sign yes, up? Yes, they can. Okay, thirty thousand. That's I incredible. Know. Way to go! To date, we've raised over a hundred and thirteen thousand dollars. Unbelievable. Well, thank you all for being here, talking about this very important topic. And you can register now to take part in the 2017 Brain Cancer Awareness 5K. It's coming up again this Saturday in White Oak Park. Proceeds benefit brain cancer research at the University of Pittsburgh and UPMC Hillman Cancer Center.